Tuesday, right? The 27th, we had 8.30 news. We had 8.30 news event. And we had a 10 o'clock news. So not much happened at 8.30 news. And basically, um, we are consolidating, right? Overall, we're just consolidating here. We are at all-time highs. We don't know what we we're doing. So my bias, I could not formulate one from a daily chart, from a daily perspective. So I didn't see anything clear here. Same thing on a weekly. We're just consolidating here. Um, so I went down to four-hour chart, and this is what I started to see. Last Friday, we took out the previous week's high, right? And then we broke market structure here, right, with this candle. Um, and then we created this order block here. This is a higher probability order block, right? Because we took out a weekly high with this order block. So this was that. That's what that is for. For our order block. And Monday we went to that order block, flushed, right? Tuesday, uh, what's happening? Again, Monday we didn't break any previous days. Uh, or Tuesday um, we were back into that order block. So we went there on Monday flushed right consolidated overnight and then um, went up to test those auto blocks again so if you look at candle study here for our candle study this is your two o'clock candle this is your London open London kill zone candle right here right the next candle is six o'clock candle right six o'clock to ten o'clock right so We'll look at these candles. So basically, the idea was high probability order block on a 15-minute chart. We we'll drop it down. So this was the um, get rid of that. So Asia went lower. London took out this lows and started moving higher. Right? Where are we coming up to? Four-hour order block. Right? And consolidate it. We're consolidating for 15 minutes. 8.30 news event is here, right? Prior to 8.30 news, we ran these highs prior to it. At 8.30, we should not be running these highs, right? The news caused, prior. Uh, we took this high, we dropped. News caused it to go up into this discount, and then we started flushing. Now, how did we flush, right? We went up, took out the high, Drop prior to the news, we took out a low here, right? Took out a low. The bias is bearish at morning AM session because we are at for our order block, followed by market structure shift at 8:30, right? 8:15, 8:30 runs it up, right? One more time, and we are unable to break this high, right? If you look at this order block here, we are unable to get to that order block and break it, right? That's what's happening on ES as well. Now, I think Dow had a SMT, which I didn't really care for, but that was my thesis going into it. At one minute chart, you had a, I started entering around here once I saw that this was being respected and uh, I started to enter around here. I'm taking thousand dollar paper trading account to run it up as much as I can the goal is fifty thousand to a hundred thousand with one thousand dollars now initially I understand the risk is very high risk to reward I want to keep the risk to reward ratio of one to two so all these trades that I've been taking with this account I took one yesterday it has to be over um, risk one to two risk or better so I entered here and I took profit here. So if you look at a five minute chart, there was a, some type of a divergence here as well um, with uh, ES, but that was my premise. Was News was the driving factor for this premise today. So if you break it down as to uh, why this took place from a different standpoint, so you blended in the news here, but let's see what happened on the four hour chart. So this four hour chart coming into this order block, this move up, I saw that as a market maker buy model, right? This four hour candle coming up. How does that look on a 15 minute chart? I saw you have accumulation here, right? You have 
first stage accumulation here, second stage accumulation, followed by smart money reversal here at this stage. Right? That stage is the smart money reversal. So if your original consolidation is here, right, market comes and hits that consolidation area at three o'clock. Now I, I exited the trade early because there was a 10 o'clock news coming up and there was a possibility that these highs might be taken out. And I would just wanted to lock in profit and be done for the day. And then look at chart. So market maker buy to sell model. And that also played out nicely.